The Roblox Assassin Christmas event has a bunch of new knives, including a brand new battle pass. Like most events, we have a battle pass right here, and you can get better prizes by gaining experience. With each prize getting better and better, you know, we start off with a common, but we end with a mythic. And in this video, we are going to go ahead and claim this entire battle pass and see what it has to offer. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and tell me what you got for Christmas or Hanukkah or any other holidays you celebrate. And let's get into it. Tier one, we start off with a common called the Ginger Bros. So here is a knife right here, and you can see that it is a common knife with some Christmas themed stickers on it. I think what's interesting about this knife is it is actually the red common. You think with a common like this, you would just use the basic knife and put some stickers on it, but this time around, they actually went with the red common knife, which, you know, of course, is still a very well known knife. But yeah, we have the red common right here, and then this brand new common basically puts some stickers on it, which is pretty cool. Like always, for tier two, we get a key, and you guys already know that you can use keys to open up some cases, and this is normally the part where I would open up a case for the fun of it, but I've already spent all my keys. Tier three, we get a rare knife called the Cheerful Wrapping. Here's a knife right here. You can see it's a dark blue knife with some snowflakes and some other Christmas decorations on it, such as stockings. We got presents right here. I believe this might be a mistletoe. It's a nice little Christmas knife. Tier four, we get a rare pet called the Gingerbread Pal. And as you can see, it's a happy little gingerbread man that follows you around. And uh, this literally just looks like something strange straight out of Shrek. I think the eyebrows and the buttons are slightly different colors, but other than that, this is basically the Shrek gingerbread man. Halfway through the battle pass, tier five, we get a legendary knife called the Dapper Snowman. And yeah, here is the knife right here. You can see that it is a knife with a snowman painted on it. We got a tap right here. It's a pretty well-designed knife. Tier six is an elite case. So you guys already know this is one of the better cases in the game here. 78% chance of a legendary, 20% chance to get an exotic and a 2% chance to get a mythic. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. There's a decent chance to get an exotic from this case. We haven't seen a mythic yet, which is a good sign, and we are going to get a legendary, unfortunately. But it is the lightning legendary, which is a better legendary to get because you can use it to craft the striker, which I believe is still craftable in the game. Yeah, right here, you need the lightning to craft the striker, so really not that bad. Pretty good knife to get. Tier 7, we get a legendary pet called the Festival penguin and yeah there it is it's just a cute little penguin that follows you around it seems to have a green crown which is interesting i'm not sure why but i like it it's cute and yeah just a cute little pet that you can get all right guys tier eight we get a brand new exotic this is the snow slasher let's go ahead and claim it there it is that looks awesome and there it is right here let's go ahead and check out this new exotic here's the knife right here you can see that it is a scythe made out of ice at the top of the handle we also have a a snowman here which is also really nice sort of reminds me of the legendary knife we got and the handle itself seems to be made out of a tree branch so that is pretty cool as well overall pretty simplistic exotic you know it's just a scythe made out of ice but i do think it gets the job done i think what's interesting about this knife is i believe this was actually made last year for last year's christmas event but it was never added in but uh it seems like for this christmas event it ended up getting added which i think is pretty cool pretty cool knife that could be valuable in the future once the Christmas event ends. It is time for tier 9, arguably one of the most important tiers for the battle pass because we get a knife effect which is something that you cannot trade for. And it seems like this time around, we are getting the Constellation Effect, which is pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and equip the effect real quick. And as you can see, there we go. We got some, you know, dark clouds around the knife. And we also have a bit of snowflakes falling off of the knife as well. Maybe those are supposed to be stars. I'm not sure. But I do see some stars, you know, around the knife as well. You know, starting from the handle and going to the tip of the knife, I also see some constellations some stars so let's go ahead and see what happens when you kill someone with this all right and when you kill someone you can see that you know they turn into a bunch of stars and then they just scatter around on the floor so yeah it just turns into some pretty bright stars looks pretty cool now something i've noticed about this effect in particular as i've been playing the game is that I'm pretty sure when you kill someone with this effect, your kill is actually silent. Because normally there's a sound effect when you kill someone, but I don't think it's on this effect. Or at the very least, I haven't really heard it. Can't really test it right now because I'm not recording with Roblox sound, but I'm pretty sure that is a thing for this effect. So I've actually seen a lot of competitive players using this knife effect because, you know, having your kills be completely silent does have a little bit of an advantage because if you kill someone, people would not hear it.
it so less people would be able to find you which is really good i'm pretty sure there are other effects that do that as well i'm pretty sure that the oof effect does that as well because you know the oof sound is copyrighted so i'm pretty sure this knife effect right here also has a uh, silent kills which is really nice just so that people will hear your kills less obviously when you throw a knife it's still gonna make a sound but when you actually you know kill someone yeah, that huge slash sound effect won't play which is really nice so i don't know i've been seeing a lot of competitive players using this effect as i've been grinding the competitive mode so i don't know maybe it's for the reason of the effect being silent anyway guys last but not least is tier 10 and like always you guys already know tier 10 is a brand new mythic knife we got the cookie claw mythic right here and that looks really cool so we are going to go ahead and claim it there we go and that is the brand new cookie claw mythic look at that dude that looks awesome all right guys and here is the brand new cookie claw mythic knife and as the name suggests it is a claw made entirely out of gingerbread cookie now right off the bat this knife is very unique because we've never had a claw in assassin before to my knowledge this knife just looks really different compared to the other knives we've seen in this game and yeah the knife is pretty cool like i said it's made entirely out of gingerbread cookie we got some frosting along the outlines of it uh there's also some gum drops in here some peppermints we can also see that this knife does have an effect of its own you can see that there is a red cloud around the knife portion of the claw and there's also some red and blue squares appearing and disappearing i guess that's supposed to be like candy or something maybe some sprinkles possibly but yeah overall this is a really weird mythic knife but i mean in a good way i mean you guys already know i really like the knives in the game that are super unique and we've definitely never had this type of weapon in the game before so getting a claw in the game is a uh, very welcome anyway before we end off today's video i want to give an honorable mention to another exotic that i got pretty recently and that is the exotic that you get from competitive mode the coal mall right here here it is this basically looks like an ice maker with some rocks in it that's the best way i would describe it pretty simplistic exotic you do have to grind in competitive mode quite a bit in order to get this exotic it's 350 points um which isn't terrible because you know prizes used to be around a thousand and luckily it's a lot lower than that now but yeah this is what the knife looks like the coal mall looks like a mace to me but i feel like it could also look like an unlit torch as well i don't know that's just sort of the vibes i get from it anyway that is it for this video guys we finished up the battle pass for this event so there we go it is complete and uh, all that is left is the dream knives. We got to craft those. This event has two different dream knives to craft, which I'm really excited for. I'm not sure if we've ever really had this for an event. I know we had these two in Halloween 2022, but I'm pretty sure you had to buy this with candies. And then this was the crafting dream knife. But this time we have two crafting dream knives, which is uh, pretty insane. Cheers.